This is a very serious warning of impending danger for all who live on the island of Manhattan, the eastern seaboard, and coastlines around the world. Now, some of you may have watched this video that's on the screen, which is uh, uploaded, posted on my channel. You know, in that experience that the Lord had given to me, I'd explained to you guys that God had placed me in the midst of Manhattan, and this is true. It happened to me. I didn't record it with my voice. I used the uh, the text-to-speech uh, software to record that vision. But in that vision, God had placed me in the midst of New York and allowed me to experience what's it like when the sea is coming in. There are truly no words to capture what what's it like, really. It defies description. I tried my best to use words, but it really doesn't even come close to what it really was like. It felt like the island was sinking. All of us that was there in Manhattan, we all felt like the, the entire island was sinking. Now, what I didn't mention is that the very day, the day after I had that specific vision, the very next night, God had given me a dream because I didn't know what had caused the sea to come in and completely inundate the entire island of Manhattan in that way. I didn't know what, what had caused it. The very next night, God had given me a dream, and He showed me this object which was heading towards the earth at a tremendous amount of speed. Now, in that very same uh, dream, He gave me a close-up. He gave me a very close view, a, a close-up of this object. And when I saw it, it appeared as if it was made somehow. That's I was thinking that it didn't appear natural because of the shape. It was oddly shaped. And I drew a sketch of what it looked like, and you can see it on the screen. Now, it appears that the Spirit of God is at work here because I don't believe in coincidences. Now, a couple of weeks back, there's this other uh, video on my channel as well where I speak about this beloved sister on the channel which is called Universal News Media. This sister that is on Universal News Media's channel, uh, God had given me a dream and then one week after that dream, he led me to her channel and confirmed that dream, uh, the things that I saw in that dream through her videos and her revelations, uh, her discoveries, the planets that are being obscured behind chemtrails. God had completely confirmed to me that everything that she's speaking of is of the truth and he's behind it because he wants his people to know. He's revealing these things that the enemy has been hiding from uh, God's people in the world. Okay, so after, after God had revealed to me that her videos, uh, that these objects are actually there and confirmed to me everything that she's saying, I started watching her uploads like very often every day each time that she made an upload i watched it you know so this morning on the 9th of april she posted an upload and i started watching it and she this upload uh, that's on the screen you know it's about an asteroid so i started you know i was there looking at it watching it and then i see this object because when you watch it for yourself, you're going to see, you know, you can hardly see it. But then at the frame of when it reaches one minute and one second, this object comes up a little bit clearer so I could, I could see it. And when I saw it, I was amazed again. I had that same moment I had when I first, when I had first seen uh, her video of the objects that I saw in the previous dreams. This cone-shaped asteroid object is the exact shape, the same object that the Lord had shown me in the dream that was heading towards New York. This object is going to hit in the North Atlantic. This is what's going to cause the tsunami. This is what's going to cause the New York City mega tsunami. Because there's actually more than one object. I saw that from previous, from other visions as well. But what I'm talking about here, or what I'm focusing on in this particular video is 
that asteroid or comet or whatever that object is that is going to strike off the coast of New York City in the North Atlantic. So I'm going to go ahead and attach her video to mine and you guys go ahead and check it out and you'll see the object that I'm talking about. And at, when it reaches the frame of one minute and one second, you'll see it a, a bit clearer and you'll understand what I'm talking about. You'll see that it looks kind of like a cone, like kind of, it has this unusual shape. And that's how I recognized it because that's the exact same thing that I saw in the dream. So you guys go ahead and check it out and you know, the Lord King Yeshua, bless and keep you. Go to him and pray and ask him for confirmations. This thing is identical to what I saw. Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is April 8th, 2018. Some viewers may recall that on March 24th, a very large, close asteroid was viewed from the southwest facing weather cam located at the military base just outside Anchorage. At first, I thought it was a one-time pass-by, but I saw it again the next day, March 25th, at approximately the same time of day, around 4 o'clock p.m. After that, the chemtrailing picked up and I couldn't see the asteroid again until April 1. Six days later, I was able to monitor the asteroid again on April 7th. Chemtrailing has since been too heavy, but I have four days of comparison over a two-week span of time, and that is enough to provide four similar trajectory paths and four different elevations of the asteroid. For anyone who doesn't like the Bible, please turn the channel now rather than leaving a nasty comment. I'm going to read two verses because I'm going to show where this object is described in the book of Revelations. Revelation chapter 8 verse 10 and 11 King James Version And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon a third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains and of water. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third of the waters became wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. I'm going to show you with trajectory paths and elevation comparisons over a period of two weeks why I believe that this is the prophetic burning star just described in the Bible passage. Here is the asteroid on March 24th as it passed by the weather cam in the late afternoon. It is a gigantic rock tumbling through the sky. It comes by each afternoon at about the same time within minutes, which means that it is probably in a medium Earth orbit for now anyway. And for an object to maintain medium Earth orbit, it must be at least 1,243 miles away. So the fact that we can see this tumbling rock so clearly in our sky suggests that it must be very large. Here is what it looked like yesterday, April 7th. The chemtrailing makes it more difficult to see, but I was still able to find this tumbling asteroid in each frame, and I placed a dot in the center of the asteroid on each frame, which is 10 minutes. After placing the dots on the asteroid's path every frame, I was able then to draw a line through the dots, defining its path and its rel relative elevation decline over a period of two weeks. I'll be showing those trajectory paths in just a minute. I was also able to get a rough idea of the, of the direction it is traveling, which I'll show in a moment also. We can get a rough idea of the direction this asteroid is traveling around the Earth. We know that the camera is facing southwest at 230 degrees because of this directional map provided by the FAA for this particular weather cam. Knowing that the camera was pointing southwest 230 degrees, 
and viewing the rough trajectory path from the weather cam images, it looked to be traveling in the direction of the yellow arrow on this picture. So basically, from the perspective of Anchorage, Alaska, it appeared to be traveling from the northwest and going southeast around the globe. Here is the path that the asteroid took two weeks ago on March 24th. I'm not going to bother showing the March 25th line because it's so close to this one. Here is its path eight days later on April 1st. And this is what the path looked like yesterday, six days later on April 7th. This chart shows the March 24th path in red, the April 1st path in green, and the April 7th path in black. And as you can see, it appears to be getting lower to the horizon with each pass around the Earth. I'm not an astronomer, so possibly there is another reason why its path appears to be getting lower in the sky as time goes by. I'm only giving you my observation and how I relate this to Bible prophecy. I believe this asteroid came from the celestial system that we've been seeing parts of lately. Many people ask when the system will make its closest pass to our Earth. A general indication of time is provided in the following screens of text. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe.